Dr. Matibonan, can you can you please um yeah, okay, all right, okay, because you didn't wear your your you did you could you look different you look different okay okay a little bit introduction okay for uh, our speakers today dr ts dr matiban and jaganathan is a currently uh, senior lecturer at school of business management previously he served as director of uh, career development development center student affairs department university utara malaysia he also professional technologies approved by malaysian board of technologies and also serve as president of the Internet Society Malaysian chapter. A little bit about his academic background. <clears> T.S. <throat> Dr. Matibanan earned his uh, PhD in January 2020 in uh, PhD Management ICT from University of Utara, Malaysia. His PhD title is Information and Communication Technology Adoption among Small and Medium Enterprises in the Northern Region of Malaysia. In October 2008, uh, he earned his Master of Business Administration from University of Utara, Malaysia. And in March 2007, he uh, received his Bachelor of Technology Management with Honours from University of Utara, Malaysia. He also got a professional qualification, that is the uh, Google Cloud Certified in this Suite from Google Cloud, Professional Technologies from Malaysia Board of Technologies, Diploma in Digital Entrepreneurship, passed with Level 1 and 3, by Learning Resource Network, and also uh, he's an advisor and certified trainer for Mendeley Reference uh, Management Software System. Uh, also received his professional certificate from Entrepreneurial Educator by Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia. And the most interesting part is um, he received several awards. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, in 2022 he received a favorite website award winner for the personal website category. Malaysia Website Award in 2021 by Exabyte Groups, Successful People in Malaysia, uh, Britishpedia from British Publishing House, Excellent Score Achievement Performance Appraiser 2020 from in UUM, okay. And actually received a lot of uh, awards of, uh, uh, related to Website Award winner. Okay, if if I want to, to read the whole things about your CV, Dr. Mati, it will take like half of a day. Okay, before we start, Dr. Mati, uh, I would like to remind the uh, audience, uh, you can uh, ask a question uh, through chat box or uh, immediately after the uh, session end. All right, Dr. Mati, over to you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Adara, and also uh, Nisa over here, postgraduate studies, uh, for the opportunity as well. And thank you for the <laughs> short and uh, Colorful uh, introduction about me. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome to the Mendeley Research uh, or Mendeley Reference Management uh, Workshop. We'd like to welcome everyone to uh, absorb whatever knowledge, information, or data I'm going to deliver in. I mean, uh, throughout the session. Okay, I hope uh, most of us are familiar with the research. Okay, research. Research is everywhere. When you wake up, you start to think, start to analyze, start to relate your thoughts to previous thoughts. It's already a reference because reference is everywhere. So, but how to organize your reference through digital platform or digital tools? That is most important. So briefly, I'm going to explain to you how to organize your research by using the uh, reference management software, as mentioned by uh, Dr. Edora. So it's a very useful uh, tool to manage, organize, and work along with your research paper or thesis or whatever is it. Even you write an essay, you need a reference. Sometimes when you write a newspaper, you don't uh, cite the things, but you still need a reference. Anyway, I'm going to focus on uh, a research paper and also the thesis writing uh, by using Mendeley. For your information, there are so many softwares available on the market. I mean, uh, on the platform, okay, on the platform in the market. However, uh, not every single tools uh, convenient and also compatible for your uh, write up. So what I found, Based on my previous experience, so Mendeley is one of the easiest 
and also very convenience of way to manage your resources, especially your references. Okay. Okay. Uh, for example, we have a note. We have a Zotero, uh, Zotero. Okay, and so on. But the most convenient and most easiest one is Mendeley because of open source. Open source and it's a cloud based application. Okay, let us see. Uh, I will go uh, and so on. It's only uh, two hours. I hope I can cover most of the topics. Okay. Um, let me share my slide. Is it my voice audible? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, very audible. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, a little bit about me. Okay, it's okay. Okay, introduction to Mendeley. Uh, let me explain a uh, little bit about Mendeley first before I move on and so on. So I'm going to run. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to conduct this session and so on. Yeah, I will show to you. Uh, not by using the slide, by doing. Okay, by doing. Then you can understand what does it, uh, you know, and how it works perfectly in your machine. Okay, I hope all of you using Windows and also uh, Apple. Okay, but don't worry, the inter <clears throat> interface of the software almost same. The functions also almost same. Okay, no worries about that. Okay, introduction to Mendeley. Okay, Mendeley, it's actually uh, developed by one of, I know, PhD student. Okay, PhD student, they are not happy with the available reference management software. They are not happy. In the end, they end up with developing a software that make their own life, especially the PhD journey, easy for them. So they came up with the idea. But this Mendeley now took over by Elsevier, Scopus. You know Scopus.com? LCBA company, uh, now LCBA company bought over this company from the individual. So now this software managed by LCBA. That's why this Mendeley perfectly worked with Scopus and some other application by LCBA. Okay. Mendeley is a free, okay, that's a keyword, free reference management software. And they give you 2GB cloud based. What is cloud? Cloud means if you if your computer okay, totally collapsed because of the corrupted or whatever is it or lost, you still can get all of your references file because it's like a Google Drive. You keep all your file in the cloud. So that's why, you know, it's a free management software, 2 GB cloud. It's more than enough for PhD. I think you can do two, two PhD with 2 GB. Okay. So first is manage your references. It's been organize your references accordingly. Like a library, it's going to be like your library. Read and notate PDF. Read means you can view your PDF in that particular software. It's going to be like this uh, in this picture. Okay. Uh, and cite research while writing. Okay. Uh, we call it CRWW. Okay. CRWW. Okay. Uh, when you write, you can immediately cite. Those days, they will quote something and they will cite in the in the end of the write up but now you can cite while you are writing okay and you can collaborate as well but uh, i would i will share with you how to collaborate collaborate mean maybe adam and you know uh, abdul doing the same research they are reading same article almost same article but different context so you can collaborate your article in single platform Okay, whatever you collect and you keep in your library, your friend can see that. Okay, uh, so you can collaborate. This is more, more to the uh, researchers, not for the PhD student. Uh, researchers, they can refer to the same article because they are writing the same article or same research work. Okay, it's like a team. Okay, for your information, it's available for the Mac, the software available for the Mac, Windows, and Linux. And Last year, two, I think last two years back, 2021, if I'm not mistaken, they provide apps, apps for their Mac, Apple, and also for their Android. But however, 
the apps has been discontinued. Okay, discontinued due to the maybe the company decision. Okay. Okay, so basically only three type of Mendeley. Mendeley Reference Manager, Mendeley Site, and Mendeley Web Importer. So basically, you have to use Mendeley Reference, Man Reference Manager to cite your work. However, previously, before Mendeley Reference Manager, there was Mendeley Desktop. Today, I'm going to show to you Mendeley Desktop. But the upgrade service of the Mendeley Desktop has been stopped by the company, but they still give a support. It means they are not going... Uh, dismantle the software so i will show to you mendeley reference manager and also mendeley desktop because mendeley desktop you can do better things compared to mendeley reference manager but both is same whatever you are doing in mendeley desktop you can see in mendeley reference manager okay and mendeley site is a tool button and web importer mean you can go to google scholar and you can directly import article from google scholar directly to your mendeley reference manager so I will show to you uh, and so on after this. So just understand what I'm going to cover today. Okay. So first install. Okay. You go to this website. Mendeley.com. I will share in this uh, chat box. Don't worry. Okay. So these are things, extensions. Okay. Okay. Uh, all of these, I will go, I will give you notes, okay, but I will go uh, and so on. Okay. This is your Mendeley library, okay. Uh, Mendeley library means it's going to be in a cloud. Anywhere you can touch your tablet, your computer, and you can read article at any point of time. Anywhere you can uh, read your article, but from the browser not from the apps okay okay uh adding references this one i'm going to show to you uh later okay 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 this is for you later i can let you uh <coughs> excuse me okay so this is an additional notes. After the session, I can share to you. Okay. By looking at the slide, uh, it's a bit difficult to learn. Okay. Never mind. Okay. By the way, uh, let us go to the website. This website. If you go to internet, just Type Mendeley. Just type Mendeley, then it will link you to this system. Or you just directly link to download this one. Okay. Then you can download now for Windows. Okay. Download now for Windows. So I can share this link in chat box. Okay. So you just click. And install it as usual. Okay, just click and install. Once you install. Okay, you will get something like this. It will ask you to open. You will get something like this. Mendeley. <clears throat> sorry. Mendeley Reference Manager, like this. You click. Uh, let me log out first. Yeah. Okay. When you open, okay. If you don't have any account over here, no worries. You don't use sign in via your institution. Do not use that. What you can do is you go to 
mendeley.com like this mendeley.com i share with you in your chat box and create an account and this account you can use in your scopus.com okay because it's connected to the lcvr LC scopus is one of the product under lcvr okay so what do you do uh, so my account is uh, <clears throat> i have created so you just sign up Okay, so my account is, uh, you cannot go for the on-time link, so better you create a account. Okay, so go here, mandalay.com, create account. So once you successfully create account, so what you have to do is, uh, then only you go to Mandalay Reference Manager. So, then you just log in based on the registered account. Can you follow this one? Am I go very fast? Can you follow? Just thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So far so good. Okay. Just follow this way. It's not a big deal. It's just like a open an email account okay so i use my existing account oh sorry i use i want to use another account okay i am using my original account better use your personal account okay if you if you are a lecturer you can use your uh university e email better okay okay so now my mandalay reference manager ready okay the interface is going to be like this actually mandalay encourage us to use this one but i found there are some difficulties to use this one even though it's very easy but i encourage you to use mandalay desktop in the meantime, you can use this one, no issue. You can use both your Mendeley Desktop and Mendeley Reference Manager, this software that you are looking at right now, same. It's going to be same, okay. So once you install this one, you log in like this, you will see something like this, okay. So I can open my PDF, um, you see. I can open my PDF and I can read. Okay. But the problem is it's quite difficult uh, compared to Mendeley Desktop. Okay. Now I ask you to install Mendeley Desktop. It's more convenient. Okay. How to install it? Okay. You have to go to this page. Okay, I share to you in your chat box. Okay. So just now you have seen a uh, Mendeley reference manager. Another one is Mendeley desktop. Ah, okay, you click this one. Mendeley at uh, this one. Once you click, it will go to uh, just continue. Okay. Now, what do you do? You just click this one. If you're using Mac, Mac, if you're using Linux, you can use Linux, Ubuntu or whatever is it. Uh, last time I used Linux system, but now I'm not using. So now I'm using Windows. Okay. Okay, never mind. Just click download. I think it's a 55 MB, something like that. Okay, just download it. 
once you download you click here then if you're using google chrome okay click uh, 55 mb then double click double click and install it like this just next 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 install it okay once you install okay you can see an icon in your desktop it will be created automatically okay which is mandalay desktop this one can you see this one mandalay desktop okay how does it looks like it's similar to the mandalay reference manager okay uh just hold on uh, i let me sign out first then i can see okay once you click mandalay desktop just assume that you have registered an account you have to log in by using the same credential information in your mendeley reference manager and also in mendeley desktop but when you work when you write a paper or write a thesis better you use mendeley desktop it's very convenient for me but if you feel mendeley reference manager easy for you go ahead it's it's not a big deal you can go for it okay if you don't have any account, you still can register here. Okay. Before someone of you ask one question, let me answer one question. Definitely this question will be raised by one student. Sir, can I use different account? Then I get two GB in this account, another two GB in this account. In the end, I get five account, 10 GB. Is it possible? Possible. But when you work, when you combine all the account, you want to cite suddenly this account. Suddenly you want to cite another account. Big problem. Better use single account. Okay, I know we are very smart in cheating the companies. So, <laughs> but don't use multiple account. Problem. Okay. If you want to get more than 2 GB, if you want to get 10 GB, it's worth around $10 per month you have to pay. But you can get it free. How to get it? You need to register yourself as Mendeley advisor like myself. But Mendeley advisor, in order to apply, you must conduct it, okay, some trainings. Then only you can apply. So you will be registered under Mendeley advisor. You will get the free access for everything. Okay. But with your 2GB account, you can do wonderful. Your features in your software and my features, same. No worries about that. Okay. Okay, back to this one. So once you register, assume that you're using one account. Okay, I use the same account. Uh, don't worry, if you forgot the password, you still can access. Forgot your password. Okay. Okay. Let me access my account. Stay sign in. Eh? Better stay sign in. Tick. Okay. So this is my account, okay? I use this one since 2015, I think. 14 or 15, I'm using this account, okay? So this account is a full of, you know, uh, folders and so on, okay? <laughs> so can you go? I give you five minutes. Please complete this job first before I proceed to the next level. Okay, please proceed, install, register an account because I don't want you uh, left behind. Okay, just do it. I give you five minutes. Easy for you. Okay. I think this session is recorded. Is it recorded? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. You see, in this library, I have... 3,590 documents, conference paper, thesis, research paper, and so on, you know. I have my own library. Anytime I can access to my account. So I can go here and I can read. Okay, I always update my account. Okay. Ah, I see. Even I update uh, my uh, latest articles. 
Okay. So I can open like this and I can read. Okay. This journal is a problematic right now. Okay. Okay. So you can do it right now. I give you five minutes. Give me three minutes, I come back. Dr. Mati, we have a few questions in the chat box. Um, are you going to answer now or you will um, attend the question later? After, uh, I mean, uh, at the end of the session. Dr. Mati, I cannot hear your voice. <laughs> Did you mute, okay. mute yourself? Let, let me... <laughs> Okay, let me answer the question. How can someone upgrade your status to more than 2 GB? Okay, you have to go here. If you go to mendeley.com, let me share the screen. Okay. Okay, if you sign in in your account, okay, like this, let's say you sign in in your account. If you go here, okay, if you want to upgrade, you just click setting. Okay. Subscription rate. Uh, you can see. Okay, my account is over here. Okay, 10 GB, am I right? Uh, okay. <coughs> Just hold on, huh? Hello, doctor. Yeah, I can hear, but your voice is so slow. <coughs> okay, okay. Hello, doctor. I don't know, maybe it's my internet. He's told already, if you can hear me. Uh, uh, reference manager. Your voice is not really, you know, it's not I... clear. Yeah, we, we cannot hear your voice. Oh, okay. I will type. I type. Okay. Okay. Let me answer this question. Okay. You can go here. I share the link over here. You can upgrade your account over here. Okay. If you want to go for the 5 GB, $5 per month. If you want to go for the 10 GB, okay, like my case. You have to go for ten dollar. Uh, you can go here and upgrade. But before that, you have to log in. Then only you can upgrade. Okay. I hope I have answered your question. Okay. Second question is: uh, At times, I find it difficult to synchronize my account. Uh, sync to what? I can't figure out your question. It automatically sync. Okay, never mind. I reserve this question. UUM isn't registered under Mendeley. Sorry, I might miss that part. Uh, is UUM and Mendeley? There is no any official connection. Mendeley is Mendeley. UUM is UUM. Okay, nothing related to their UUM. Okay, you can register Mendeley openly, no problem. Okay, you don't worry about that. 
because it's provide it's open source okay okay can you explain the key difference between mendeley and other reference management software tools like endnote thank you very much okay <laughs> Uh, last time I used EndNote, but the EndNote is uh, last time is not a cloud based. Another one, it's a, uh, it's quite easy, but sometimes got a problem for me last time. But now I'm not sure. Even I'm using EndNote, but I have, uh, I have unregistered that one. But the beauty of Mendeley is it's very easy, straightforward, and cloud basis, and you can read it. Your content is very easy. If you want to go for the EndNote, there are some functions in EndNote. EndNote, the, the another function is you can connect directly to the library uh, proxy. You can directly, for example, www.something.com. You can directly connect and you can download and you can see the article and so on in EndNote. But in Mendeley, you cannot. Okay. Why you want to make it complicated? In Mendeley, you get everything. Later, I will show it to you. Okay. I'm not this uh, saying uh, this is so good, this is not so good. But make your life easy. If you want to use both Mendeley and EndNote, okay, congratulations, go ahead. If you want to use both, problem. Okay, one day you will see me. Why this problem happened? Okay, uh, you don't use EndNote and Mendeley at one time. In one article, you use both problem. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Mati, sorry to interrupt. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to remind the audience, uh, you can uh, drop your question in the chat box, because if you ask the question, you, some of you may have this, uh, you know, audio problems and microphone problems. So better to to drop your, your, your question in the chat box. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. After this, maybe I can reserve some question for the uh, end of the session. Okay. Unless the question is uh, yeah. technicals. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, wait here. Yes, hold on. Okay. I put the question in another screen. Okay. Uh, I reserve some question in the end of the session. Okay. 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 Now, so I have answered this question. So you have downloaded. Okay. And you have downloaded this one. Done. Okay. This is uh, mandate.com. You have created an account. Okay, done. Okay, so this one you have downloaded. I close this thing. Okay, let me go to. Okay, this is my library. Okay, as I mentioned to you, this is my perfect library 3590. Okay, I keep on update my storage, my library. Okay. Whenever I see the article, so I will download and I will keep it here. Okay, because. I don't want, uh, I lose some latest articles published in my research area. Okay. How to build something like this? I will let you know after this. Let me sign up this one first. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, okay, I'm going to cover this thing. Manage your references read cite and collaborate only four functions i'm going to tell you uh while i'm teaching these four functions i will go beyond teach you how to optimize the usage of the mendeley.com to find out the article and related article okay okay so this is my mendeley reference manager Okay, Mendeley Reference Manager. Let me open Mendeley Reference Manager. If you want to use Mendeley Reference Manager, the first rule is you have to install the citation button. Okay, citation button, you have to click tool and you have to click install Mendeley site for Microsoft Windows. 
okay then go get it now and you log in with your account whatever is it okay um, then once you successfully registered okay you can see this one uh, the button in your microsoft word for your information your microsoft word should be if possible latest one do not use microsoft windows uh, sorry uh, microsoft office 2000 23 years back do not you don't ask this question eh? so can i use uh uh mentally in office 2000 that is uh, not a right question in my session okay uh, okay and second question is let me answer because every time this question will pop up by students second is sir can i use uh you know other than microsoft word to use mentally cannot for example you know there are uh this another software similar to the word but it's not possible and also your microsoft office should be activated account if it's a uh not the junior one please activate your account okay don't ask how to activate okay that is another session not this session okay please activate your microsoft word it can cause a problem okay Because uh, I always say this one in my class, PhD is like a battle. Do not go to battle without your weapons. Your weapons are your word application, your statistical tools, and your Mendeley, your EndNote, and these other tools. Do not go without a proper tool for the battle or to the battle of the PhD. Okay, okay good. Back to this one. Okay, <laughs> as I assume. What about using a free trial account? Okay, how long you want to use a free trial? Because it can cause a problem. Okay, do not use a trial account, free trial, and you know, office is office, better you activate. Otherwise, it can cause a problem. Okay. Okay, uh, some question I will answer later. Okay, if I answer that question, uh, it may jeopardize uh, my time in terms of completion, my uh, ultimate objective. Okay. Okay, once you've done Mendeley site, you go to the references like this, your office, right? You go to the references. You will see this one, Mendeley site. You click Mendeley site. You can use your same account to get started and login. Uh, use login by using the same account. I have a two account, so I use this one. Okay. Now my Mendeley site connected to the my reference manager, which is all of this 3640 article has been connected and readily available for the citation. Okay, so now my tools are ready. Okay, so in Mendeley reference manager, okay, the other things also you can do Mendeley web importer. Uh, you can install get web importer for Chrome. And I have installed. If you're not installed, you install in uh, install first. Okay, install in your Google Chrome. Better in Google Chrome. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's available in Mozilla Firefox or not. If available, please proceed. Okay. And the third one is okay, search for articles online. This function is actually I will cover later. Okay. So if you look at Mendeley Reference Manager, there is no much function, you know. And how to add article, it's just add new. Add new, you can add files from computer or add entry manually. Okay. Or you can import from your EndNote. Maybe before this, you're using EndNote. You want to import all of your library 
to the Mendeley. You can import it. So you have to save the endnote XML file. Okay, extra markup, markup language. Or you can get from the RIS. RIS is another software. BibTech is another software. Okay, you can use these three softwares. Okay, if you want to bring in your other software references. Okay. Can you see the screen? Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for reminding. Okay. Okay. So you can see uh, over here, this is a Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. Uh, you can see the in installed web importer site for Microsoft Word. Okay. This tool function, very easy. I think I no need to go one by one, step by step, because once you click, it will go as wizard system. Click, 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 and you can go. Okay. Because we don't have much time to cover within uh, 12. Okay. Okay. The other functions are nothing uh, so special. The most important function is uh, add new. If you want to add more article in your library, this is your library. It's like a cupboard, you know, your cupboard. You keep your shirt and everything in your cupboard. Uh, similar function. Okay. You can add entry manually if you want to enter manually. Okay. But the another function is you can copy paste DOI as well. It will be automatically included in your references. But if you add manually, the problem is even though you add DOI manually, for example, like this. If let's say I go to scopus.com. Okay, let's say I go uh, search this one. Okay. I copy this DOI. Okay, copy this. And if I go there, I can add entry manually also can. Search. You see, analyzing control uh, speed BLDS, uh, it automatically included, uh, the same article will be included in Mendeley, perfectly. Okay, but if you want to add more information also can. Okay. So metadata found. So you can add. So if I add entry, it will be here. But the problem is there is no file. If you want to add file, you have to add file manually here. Okay. For example, you have to add files manually here and add it. So this is function in Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. And also you can uh, do files from computer and so on, you know. Okay. I just uh, stop Mendeley Reference Manager. I will show to you Mendeley Desktop. It's much more easier to do citation. Okay. If you want to do citation by using Mendeley Reference Manager, also can. Very simple. Okay. I use, I teach you another two functions over here. Tools. Okay, you can use this function. Very nice function. Okay. Since Mendeley is a cloud base, it can sync automatically, even though you are using Mendeley desktop or Mendeley library or Mendeley uh, reference manager. It's going to be like this. You see here, I update this paper analyzing right. 
in reference manager since i'm using the same account if i go to my mendeley desktop which is different interface the article going to be automatically included in my library okay for example like this i hope all of you can follow that's why you know i don't want to confuse you with a lot of software single platform and delete desktop okay you see so now it's syncing the green color is a syncing syncing to the cloud okay you see this article analyzing control algorithm i included in the vendley reference manager since i'm using the same account okay it has been included this is reference manager analyzing control algorithm this is desktop it's already here okay so that is the beauty of the cloud okay that is about reference manager you can organize uh, this is we call it organization of the article okay how to include okay now i will use mendeley desktop okay but i use different account to show to you from scratch okay i sign out okay before that uh you can explore this function you can search article but when you click it will go to mendeley.com okay never mind this one we reserve first later i show to you okay let me sign out from mendeley reference manager i use mendeley desktop okay so mendeley desktop Uh, okay, let me point out a few questions. Okay, uh, we are students, we don't have money to use premium account. Okay, uh, very contradictory statement. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's why you know you can use the 2GB. Okay, you can use 2GB free account. Okay. Okay, another one, uh, another question is, do all articles by Mendeley come from good journals, uh, such as Elsevier and others, and from any source that can be published? Uh, do all articles by Mendeley come from Mendeley? Normally, it's scattered from the Scopus. Scopus covers most of the journals, but you can go to the Google Scholar as well, because it will link to the referred, okay, referred journals, and you can download to the Mendeley as well. Okay, I will show to you later. Uh, by the time you're doing PhD, you're supposed to know all the databases that are available for your articles. Okay. From any source that can be published. Uh, I don't understand this question. Uh, okay. From any source. Maybe you can uh, point back that question. Okay. Then another question is two times repeated. Personally and how i how can i publish an article using mendeley okay use mendeley as a reference manager then you can publish the article okay it's not a, a statistical tools or you know you can do slr or you can do uh you know uh what we call it uh bibliometric last time people use but now cannot uh not cannot it's not proper okay Okay, uh, is it necessary for us to download the article before we add to Mendeley Reference Manager? Okay, uh, you can download and you can upload. It can detect automatically. Sometimes, uh, because without seeing the article, how you know the article? So by the time you look at the article, you will download automatically. That is a common process. Okay, uh, so you have to download the article, you keep in your Mendeley. Then only you can read. Okay. So it is not necessary to download the article. Uh, I do not. <laughs> if without downloading the article, how you read the article? 
and without reading the article, how you cite the article. So that is a wrong reference management. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we go to the mental desktop by using my account. So now I will teach you uh, hands on. Okay. Okay, just focus on this one. This is the most important thing how to handle your uh, account. Before this, just an introduction how it's functioning. Okay. Okay, it's sinking. That's why. Just hold on. Eh? Okay. Just imagine when you open, it's going to be like this. Now, empty everything, nothing. Okay. So, first of all, what you have to do is the same thing. You have to install MS Word plugin. Now, my one is, uh, okay, let, uh, let me uninstall first. Excuse me. Okay. So this is your Mendeley desktop. Okay. Now you are going to manage your library and you're going to do citation. Citation is not a big deal. Very simple. Okay. So you go to tool, install web importer. I have shown to you in Mendeley reference manager. It's going to be button, but in desktop, it's going to be more easier. Okay. Click install MS Word plugin. If you don't install, you can't see anything over here. Now you see here, yeah? you go to Microsoft Word. Okay. If you go here, there is no references, Mendeley, nothing except Mendeley site. This is for the Mendeley reference manager, but now I want, I want to use for the Mendeley desktop. Okay. Before you install, close all your Microsoft applications. If the most important word, close. Okay. Now you go, you click install MS Word plugin. Boom. Install. So now you can see in Microsoft Word, there is a special function to use Mendeley. Okay. Okay, for the bibliometric analysis, uh, Mendeley you can use, but uh, not in a, it's not a proper, we have a lot of uh, software right now for the bibliometric, okay, you can use that, Was Viewer, okay, and there are a lot of tools, okay, you can use that. Okay, you can see uh, references, okay. Uh, now you can see that the region has been included here. New region. Mendeley region. Okay, we call it region, uh, tab. Okay, now I close this one. Okay. First of all, you have to fill up your library. How to fill up? Okay. There are only four functions. Apart from this, the fifth function is you can use web importer. Okay. First, add files. Okay. Assume that you have 
downloaded some articles over here. Okay, you have downloaded some article over here. So you can click one by one. Okay, or you can click shift and you can choose multiple. Open. Then it will be included here. So in your library, you have this one. Sometimes, you know, merge means uh, two articles, same. Okay, it will merge automatically. Okay. Apart from that, hold on. Eh? Okay. Apart from add menu uh, add file, you can add folder as well. For instance, you have one folder in that folder full of article. You can do it as well. So how you can you can do it? You go and find out the particular folder. For example, I use my desktop. Okay. So I can you go to my desktop. Okay. Where is it? Oh my God. Okay, I can go to my desktop. Uh, you can keep your folder in a very convenient place. Okay, easy to access. So I have this folder, social enterprise. In this folder, I have a few articles, let's say. So I click, uh, article will be added automatically. So, you see? Okay. You can do manual also. What you can do is, you can drag and drop also can, like this. Oops, sorry. You can drag and drop also can. Manual. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, you can go for the add entry manually. Title, for example, newspaper, you read physically, you can edit. Okay. There is another function which is watch folder. This one, very nice. Okay, watch folder main. Okay, first of all, uh, it's a, like an automated, you know. First of all, what you can do is, uh, you create one folder. Assume this folder going to be watch folder by Mendeley. What does it mean? That folder going to be a reference for the Mendeley. Whenever you keep the article in that folder, it will be automatically included in your Mendeley. Absorb automatically. You don't need to drag and drop. You can, you need to add the folder, not it. You just put in that folder, it will be grabbed automatically. Okay, that is a go. I create one folder. Okay, latest article, let's see. And I go uh, to scopus.com and I want to download article on uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, I want to go for only, uh, oops, social science. Okay, articles, I just limit, okay. Okay, is there a limit on the number of articles that can be added? As I mentioned, uh, it depends on the size. If let's say your article, each article 1 MB. So, 1024 MB equal to 1 GB. So, another 1024, more or less 2000 article with 1 MB you can keep because your total free storage is 2 GB. Okay, 
You can add more than that, but it won't be captured in the cloud. That's a problem. Okay, your cloud limit is 2 GB. Okay, we appreciate your good work. Can manually detect duplicated file or article? Yes, it will detect. For example, you have included article a few months ago, then you forgot. You add again that article, it will detect. Oh, this is the duplicated file. Okay, it will detect and it will ask you to merge. Okay. Okay, let me go here. Okay. Oh, internet slow. Okay, let me uh, search article here. I go to Google Scholar. Okay, just for the, you know, class. Normally, I will go for the Scopus and the Web of Science. Okay. Okay. So, I want... Uh, this one, okay, let's say I want to download this article. Okay, this article is available. Okay. So I can download this article and put in my watch folder. My watch folder name is latest article. Okay, save. So in my watch folder, there is one article over here. Okay. Let's say assume, eh, just assume, I copy some article from different sources. Okay. Okay. This is just for... Okay. I just, let's say. So, just assume we have five different article in one folder. Okay. I need to connect watch folder. Just click like this, watch folder, and you have to connect to this watch folder. I put it in desktop, right? So now I don't want to put interesting article. I want to put only latest article. So once I click apply, all the article will come up here, you see? Hotel brand equ equity, uh, sorry, equity. Okay, this article, it's here. How it automatically coming up here, come over here because of this folder. If let's say I add more articles here, it will be automatically updated. Yeah, okay, let us try. Okay, let me update this article. Eh? Okay. Uh, all books, yeah. Okay. I want only review articles. Okay. 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 Let's say I go to this article. This article is artificial intelligence in medicine. Am I right? So I download and watch folder. My watch folder is latest article. Okay. I save. Okay. So this article will be automatically included. You see. Uh, you see, this article automatically included in my Mendeley library. Let me repeat again. It's about watch folder. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Okay. So watch folder. You can add automatically. So how to build your library? That, as I've told you, how to build your library and organize your library by using this 
four simple function. Okay. Once you sync, it will be connect to your account, online account. So let us see. I can answer one of the question. If let's see, I go to mendeley.com. Okay, I go to mendeley.com. I sign out. I use the same account. Which account? Infonice Consultancy. Okay. I go here, I sign in. Try another account. So I close. I use. Okay. If I go here, Okay. okay. So I can see the same library that I have uploaded or articles, whatever is it. Okay. Uh, okay. Another one. Normally, this question will be raised based on my experience because. I'm conducting this training since 2017. And uh, sir, can I upload the thesis? Can I upload the white paper? Can I upload the conference paper? You can upload, even you can upload your movie, no problem. But movie, it will consume a lot of space. Do not upload. Thesis can, this is around 5 MBs. Okay? You can upload. Okay, by the way, uh, you go here. I use the same account. If this is this function, I will let you know later. You click library, search library only by name. That's it. You click library. Okay, you click library. You will see the same thing. Chan X, you know. And can I open the article? I can open. Okay. This one. I can sync as well. Okay, you see. So, same article, multi group analysis. Okay. I need to, I can open this article about PLS. And the same article available here. This one very easy compared to Mendeley Online. Okay. So better use uh, this one just to see. You cannot cite. But normally, uh, if you want to cite, you have to go to Microsoft Word, not here. Okay. So back to Mendeley Desktop. You can use this function. Apart from this function, what you can do is you can create a folder as well. For example, if let's say you create a folder, uh, thesis, or you want to create a folder, uh, okay, bibliometric analysis. Okay, boom, enter. Just type, click create folder, just type, enter. That's it. Okay, you can create a folder like this. You can uh, create multi folders. Okay, SLR. Okay, uh, L. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Meta analysis. If you want to create a subfolder under this one, also can click like this. A new folder. Okay, people are going to Malaysia. You want to create uh, another folder under this one, USA, also can. Okay, what are the what is the function of this one? This function is you can categorize according to the uh your definition of the article if let's say you think this article and this article belongs to bibliometric militia you just okay uh put anyway here 
Okay, let's say I put in meta analysis. So it will be in meta analysis. So it's easy for me to find out by clicking the folder. That is the beauty of uh, folder. Okay. Can you follow? Yes, follow, follow. Okay. Uh, okay. So please advise once we get our storage limitation, can we easily delete unwanted or old article to regain the storage space and use again to upload it? Yes, you can. But based on my experience, <laughs> even you won't finish 1 GB unless you keep the movies. Because basically, you know, one article, less than sometimes 1 MB, you see? 2 MB, 847 KB, 1.8 MB, Okay, uh, it's not big size. You're not going to use 1000 article in your Mendeley. Do you think you will use 1000 article, 1000 references in your uh, PhD? Do you think you will use 1000 references? Suspicious, 1000 references. Okay, you can refer many things, but side important only okay how can i make a collaboration with other researcher we are mainly okay later i will share please remind ali okay okay back to this one okay so this function has been ready okay this one okay uh you have done maybe you have a question if i take this article and I put it in the folder, is it going to be a second file and it will consume my space? No, it's not going to consume your space. Remain same, your space, your storage. No worries about that. Okay. Okay. So once you think you have done, okay. Uh, let me put more articles. Okay. Regarding the duplicate file, you don't worry. When you put the duplicate file over here, it's not going to uh, put another file and another file. It will make uh, it will alert you whether duplicate file available or not. Okay, then you can merge. Okay, okay. Let me uh, put all the article from here. Interesting article. I can put the folder here. Okay. 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 There is one function when you put the article you can see one function you know okay uh, you can see the needs review needs review are uh, like this let me go to my account i can show it to you okay okay now I'm using uh, my account, okay. So assume that you have done something like this. You have built your library like this, okay? With the, all the, you know, folders and so on, okay? Uh, now I'm using my actual account because before this, uh, it's a um, <clears throat> training account. So you have learned how to add files, okay? That is one important function you have to know. This is the main problem when I go for the event examination. The references are wrongly cited. And they say, oh, I do it in mentally, everything perfect. They will defend. Actually, it's wrong. You cannot defend like that. You know why? Because sometimes mentally cannot detect the metadata. Metadata means this information. Uh, author's name, okay, like this author name, journal, sometimes it will detect as a conference paper. So you're supposed to know. But don't worry, in Mendeley, there is one function it will detect whenever it's an error. Okay? You click here, needs review, this function. On the left side, when you see left side, needs review. Needs review means something is not correct. Ah. So you have to manually edit it. You double click. Uh, this is a newspaper, am I right? So, but it detects as a general article. 
So you have to manually correct it, newspaper. That is it. You can update not only article, you know, computer program, conference proceeding, encyclopedia, film, generic, hearing, general article, magazine. These are type of reference, type of references. Okay. Pattern and so on. Okay. So now I go to the newspaper article. Uh, Malaysia regulator still slow. Uh, P. Aruna. Okay. Uh, B. Aruna. Okay. Okay. And publication star online. Then year 2018 pages, uh, no pages for the newspaper normally. Okay. If you want to put pages also can. Okay. That's it. And also you can update the URL. Okay. And month is important. October. Day 30. Okay. There is no DOI and you put details are correct. Once details are correct, it will be removed from the needs review. Okay. Uh, please do it. Okay. I hope you can follow. Thank you. Uh, okay. Doctor, I upload the file trying to read from the Mendeley, it says the file is not supporting, but successfully uploaded. You have to upload the PDF, not other tool, other format. Okay. Do not upload your video uh, uh, movie file and you want to watch a movie in Mendeley. Not possible. Okay. Can I still use Mendeley even I have a problem with the internet? You still can use uh, Mendeley without internet, but after you connect to the internet, please sync. Click this button, sync. Okay. Sync button. Even you use a Mendeley Reference Manager, there is a sync button. So you, once you click, it will connect to the cloud and will, it will update in the your cloud storage. So it will upload on your platform. Okay. How can you know this total number of references in the Mendeley file? You just click. You can see over here in the top. Sorry, in the bottom. Okay. I received some uh, messages privately. Okay. Uh, 3591. Can you see? When I click any file, it will show the number. Okay. That, now we go to uh, Mendeley Web Importer. Okay. Before I go for the citation. Okay. If I go to scopus.com. Okay. Okay, you want to import the file from Scopus. Is it possible? Can you download the article from Scopus.com? Just say yes or no. Can you download the article from Scopus.com? Yes. Okay, actually you cannot download any article from Scopus.com. Scopus.com is a bibliographic, bibliographic database. It just show the article is available and it will link you to another link to download the article. Scopus, it's just an indexing body. They are not providing any article. They are just providing um, article link to download. Okay, let us go to scopus.com, for example, like this. Okay. Let's say you cannot simply download, you know. Okay, you see, yeah. Ah, stopper.com. You have to. Click, let's say you click this one. Can you download? You cannot download. Okay. You have to go to the view PDF or full text option. It will go to the website. Okay. You see API Mendeley will bring you. Okay. API Mendeley is an application programming interface. It will help you to bring you 
to the particular link to download the article. So I can download this article. Okay. That is the function. Don't say I can download an uh, article from scopus.com. It's just a bibliographic database. But if this article is available in scopus.com, the beauty is, remember, Scopus is under Elsevier and Mendeley is also under Elsevier. You can see there is one button, this button. View PDF because it's freely available. Okay, just click. It will open in your library. You see. Not in your library, in your Mendeley. Okay, but it got download here. But actually you can add, you know, but I don't encourage you to add something in this way. Okay, now mind. So what you can do, you go to, let's say, if you want to use Mendeley Web Importer, maybe you can go to Science Direct, let's say. We can try. Let's say I go and find out the article over here. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Nowadays, with a lot of AI tools, yeah, you can do a lot of wonders. Okay, I just want to uh, download selected article. Uh, view PDF is available. I just click this one. I just click this one. I just click, click, and click. I feel it's very important for me. I click, okay, and I click this one. This is not available, eh? so I have to click and download. Not freely available article. Then I click Mendeley Web Importer. Okay, you can see your Mendeley Web Importer function here. Your plugin. Okay, if you don't see, you click this one, extension, this button, and you enable it. Enable. Uh, now it's not available. Now yeah, enable. Boom. Okay. Then you click Mendeley Web Importer. Sometimes it doesn't function. I don't know why. Okay. 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 We have to try our luck. Okay. Now you refresh. Okay. Now you see. So I can choose the article, you know, wind, uh, this one. Uh, I can see this article, okay, this article and in depth, okay, and I can directly input this article in my library. If you feel that is good article for your reference, okay. When PDF not found, you won't get the PDF file. Sometimes when PDF available, it will download with PDF. Let it try, okay. Add to Mendeley. Okay, it's adding to Mendeley library. Uh, but not this one. I have to go to InfoNash. Uh, okay, wait. Uh. Let me switch. Uh, sorry, uh, you have to go to the particular account. Sign in. Because it will detect your system based on your account. Okay. Let me go to here. Just click Mendeley. Then. Okay. I click here. 
then I click PDF not found. This one PDF. Okay, three files. Add to Mendeley. Okay. Oops. Oh my God. It's keep on going to same account. <laughs> Let me sign out, sign in. Okay. Okay, I repeat again, eh, because of the conflict of the account. Okay. So I have logged in by using uh, this account, Madi Wonan at UAM. So now my Mendeley web importer also connect to the same account. So now I go and I choose the file that I want to include it in my library without downloading. Okay. PDF not found. I add boom. Okay. So if I go here. Okay, you see this article, Digital Entrepreneurship, this article not available PDF, but this article available PDF, so it has been included automatically. So I don't need to download and insert and so on, you know. I just click, I can open this article and read. Am I right? This article. Digital Entrepreneurship Research, sorry, Entrepreneurship Research, a systematic review. Okay, you see. Is automatically included in my. This is the beauty of Mendeley Web Importer. So now we have organized. Okay. We have another 30 minutes. So I'm going to cover a uh, few things. Okay. <laughs> there are some students. Okay. Invite me to write a paper on data entrepreneurship. Yeah. My area is uh, more to the digital technology adoption, digital entrepreneurship, smart retailing, okay, and uh, related to the digital, okay, AI and so on. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Ali. Okay. So now most of the function done, tools done. This is nothing, view, okay. As I promised to you, okay. You have built your own library, okay? Own library with the folder and a lot of articles. Okay, now it's time to move on to how to create a citation with the easy way. Okay. Okay, as I promised to you. So now you know how to manage your references, okay? Uh, by adding the articles, read and annotate PDF. Okay, we go to the second one, okay? How to read and annotate? Very simple. When you open like this, this is reading, okay, reading. And the, the good about this article is, especially from the top journals, this is the Q1 journal, uh, J-O-B-R, Okay. If you feel that the details are not correct, what you can do, you know, uh, you can copy the DOI. You can copy the DOI of this article. Definitely there will be a DOI. Okay. Ah, this DOI. You copy, paste, and just click. You can copy DOI over here. Okay, this is a DOI, right? You copy this DOI. Okay. Oops. Okay, if you can copy this one, you copy. But I can't, <laughs> don't know why I cannot copy. Uh, something wrong here. Okay, never mind. I copy. Never mind. I uh, know, mind. I can delete later. 
Okay, let's say this information is not available. Now it's empty, right? But when I copy DOI, I can update automatically. Okay, now I delete this one. Okay, so assume this is a DOI. You copy. You just click this magnifier button. It will be updated automatically. What is DOI? Anyone know? DOI is very important right now. Pardon? Document identifier. Ah, uh, okay. DOI means digital identity, uh, digital object identifier. Okay, digital object anyway, because your PDF is a digital object, so it can identify by using the number. Thank you, brother. Some article in Mendeley, the title of the article and author name is now appear. Uh, so in Mendeley, how come in Mendeley not appear? In 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 Mendeley or in okay, you can get the session recording. Okay. Some article in Mendeley, the title of the article, hmm, I think, okay, uh, Serzan, I reserve your question. Let me complete this one. Okay, so once you complete this one, okay, you just click boom. You see, updated. So details are correct. Assume they are correct. Under 56, JOBR, 2023, pages. Yes, correct. Now you can read as I promised to you. Read and annotate your PDF. What is annotate? Annotate means you can read and you can highlight. I think the girls, especially uh, I see, compared to the men, psychologically, girls like to highlight like this. You can highlight. Highlight the text. Or you can highlight the rectangle. Highlight the rectangle means all you want to highlight. Also can. Okay. And you can change the color. In color and also you can do the notes and the beauty of the good article is they provide the contents you know you can click the content and you can directly click like this study you don't need to scroll like this or, or, or like this don't need you don't need to scroll. scroll what you can do is just click the content and you just click like this boom okay this is one of the good article you know actually very very good article okay Okay, and you can zoom, uh, reading, depend on you. And also you can put the notes. If let's say you want to put the notes, also can. For example, you want to put the notes here. Okay, add note. You can put problem statement. Whatever is it, it's up to you. You can put it here. Okay. Apart from that, what you can do is you can put tagging for the, your article. Tag means by putting the tag, you can tag. Okay, this is very important for the problem statement. You just put tag, problem, statement. Okay. Then continue by what? Uh, discussion. Maybe now you're reading for the proposal defense, but you see this article very important for the discussion. Maybe you can put discussion. Okay. You can put the tag. Later I will uh, teach you how to uh, use this tag function. Okay. Boom. Okay. Then that's it. The other function you can use it. Okay. Uh, this one select. Uh, this is copy paste. You can copy paste also from here. Copy. And you can paste in your word. Also can it will copy as it is okay very nice okay that is the second function read and annotate okay you can put you know highlight all of this
you can put the notes also here for your article notes okay this is a annotation problem statement okay now you see how you can use it so when you put all the tag attack and annotation you can filter your article based on your annotation for example i want to filter by tag what tag i want to filter by problem statement boom you see i can see all the article that i i tag it as a important article for the problem statement okay you see i put a lot of things you know tagging you see important okay important article okay institutional pressure the most important article government scale okay i put conceptual papers this is when i was doing uh, i put toe justification where is it this is really helped me you know so now i know so when i want to uh, read back so i just use the tag and also you can filter by author and keywords because remember or not sometimes when you go to certain uh, article they will put all the keywords here mendeley can detect keywords so it will put the keywords here for example you are doing research about facilitating condition okay or psychological empowerment okay whenever there is a keyword it will detect ah. searching okay let's see so it will show but this is not a very good function over here because you have to perfectly uh, put the keywords for your article when you keep your article apart from that you can go for the authors Okay, let's say you want to go for the article for the, you know, uh, okay, this one. Okay, maybe you think this author is very important author, so you can filter. I can see all the function because I have a lot of articles in my uh, library. Okay, okay, that's it about read and annotate. Now we go to the site research while writing. Before I go to here, let me go to one important function that really make your life easy would you like to know if no no problem i can skip that function <laughs> okay let yes, me go yes, to the yes. mentally.com <laughs> okay if you go to mentally.com thank you i definitely i will tell you okay if you go to mentally.com okay before that you please sign in okay by default it's uh, not sign in so now you have to sign in you can explore here your functions if you go to setting okay there are two important function it's not only reference manager it's beyond okay let me give you additional bonus tips for you for the mendeley in mendeley actually you can find out your job it's like a job marketplace you know you go to career setting you can create a alert for your future career go to the job preferences you upload your profile here okay then by using this function i can share with you uh, the link you can find out your job what job? Maybe part-time job or full-time job, whatever job, all over the world, not in Malaysia. Okay? Uh -huh. You go here, you just find your job. All employees, career advice, everything. 402,000 jobs available. You want to go for the lecturer. Okay? Where? Let's say Pakistan. I don't know. Okay, let's say United States. United Kingdom. Okay, you see, so Birmingham, mid very uh, marketing research, career pathway, there are so many jobs available, 505 jobs available in the UK. So if you want, get alert, you create a job alert. Okay, additional bonus function apart from reference manager. Okay, forget about this one. <laughs> the most important function is uh, you go to search. 
once you go to mendeley.com you log in you will get something like this this function similar to the scopus.com but you can download the articles you can directly link to the article let's say you find out the article about digital entrepreneurship you see so what's so special it's still showing the same thing like scopus.com but the beauty is if pdf available you can view okay if you think that pdf is available like this what you can do you can uh, it's already added if not added you can add to library boom add to library that right? as covid you see here this one will move in automatically will be in my library so my life is very easy with the mendeley.com search okay let me sync first i sync okay this article is already here okay but if you want it automatically added you can view and you can add okay that is another function okay you can do it okay never mind so now the another important function is i want to show to you is you can use most reason most cited and so on in the meantime you can filter 2023 journal and you can see the most top authors okay and another important function over here is related it will find out the similar related article that you are looking at right now okay if i click related you see what happened boom it will list down all the article related to the systematic review and digital entrepreneurship you see digital entrepreneurship systematic review systematic review systematic review slr okay systematic review okay systematic review everything coming up at one point of time you don't need to waste your time you have only three years so you can find out the article and also you can see this is open access freely available add to your library or view pdf and download very simple function if you want to go for more advanced maybe you can use this function and malaysia boom so all the article related to the malaysia will come up okay not many people write about digital entrepreneurship in malaysia related to malaysia okay is this function very useful definitely very helpful okay because you can get the written article without your sweat equity you just use your intelligent equity okay just go here and you can go related 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 you know this related and you go you search this article and you go related i see okay so that's it uh now we go to the last function which is site research while writing this is a very simple one once you've done completely everything now your citation is very simple now you are writing an article like this let's see this is your passage just imagine this is your passage okay this is your write-up now you want to do citation okay the last function how to do very simple open your mendeley that's very easy you cannot cite from mendeley you have to cite from uh word application how to cite okay you go here references you can see this one let's say these sentences you want to add references you just click here can you see my this one okay 
then you want to add reference you go to insert citation okay if you know the author name you can type okay if let's say i know the author name i can cite okay let's say uh buddy my own article okay boom i i want to add more article boom and i want add more article let's say uh hair okay partially square okay okay so citation is ready how to know is it citation very simple when you highlight okay this one when you highlight you can see this one if let's say i want to add more can i add you can add okay you just go here instead citation okay go to mendeley also can another uh, step go to mendeley you want to cite this article let's say you want to add this article and also this article can i add both at one time can just click shift shift two three cite boom but do you think it's correct way no because you have to merge it how to make it and merge it okay very simple you just i like this one then you can see merge citation in the top here can you see my mouse uh, this one merge citation boom uh, now perfect okay why it become at all at the first time for your information APA 6 and APA 7 slightly different. Okay. For the first time, APA 7, more than three authors, if I'm not mistaken. APA 7, if more than three authors, first time at all. But for the APA 6, second time at all. You want to see the difference? Uh, you want to change the style. You can change it. Okay. Before I show the style, let me generate the references. How to generate references mostly in the okay. Let me delete this one unwanted. Okay. I go to new page, go to layout, fresh page, break, next page. In order to avoid the stitching, okay. References. Boom. So now I want to create a reference list here. Uh, what I do. I go to references again. I click insert, not in the citation. Eh? Don't go and find out where is the references, insert references. There is no such a thing. Insert bibliography. Boom. Done. So your references has been populated as you want. Sometimes you can see some mistakes here. Why these mistakes happen? Okay, for example, eh? uh i think this references no mistake okay before i tell you that one okay let me update few references again here insert references go to insert citation sorry go to mendeley i want to add more references okay let's say i go here uh okay this article eh, full of no full information. Okay, no full information. Okay, I want to cite this article, but no correct information. I cite, boom. It will cite accordingly. If I cite more article, it will cite. Okay. Okay. I cite again. I use the same method. Boom. Okay. Merge citation. Okay. Is this citation will be included in my references? It will be included automatically. You see a uh, Liu and Yanes. You see. Liu is here. Yanes is here. But the problem is Liu 
there is no journal name. Can you see this? There is no journal name, something missing. Do I need to update manually? No need. How to update? You update in manually. Okay, let me show to you. Liu, eh? okay, I go to Liu. You can search here, Liu. You can search the keywords and everything over here, you know. Manly desktop. Okay, I go to Liu. Or I go to, I search like this. I'm not sure is it correct. Uh, I think correct. Okay. Copy, yeah. Oh, oops. This is correct. Uh, let me check. Uh, something missing here. Uh, issue number missing. Okay. I go here, I can search here. Ah, the Liu is here. So something is missing, am I right? So I can update here. Oh, this is a International Journal of Hospitality Management. Okay. So I can copy this one. Okay. Oops. I copy and edit manually. Boom. I edit manually. And volume is uh, 90. I think there is no issue. Page is 10,000, not 10,000. 100,000 Okay. Now is correct. Okay. If you don't want, maybe you can correct DOI. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Uh, wrong also because it's not issue. Boom. Okay. Now, details are correct. But how to correct here? How to correct here? Very simple. You go here. You just click refresh. Ah, you see. Now, Liu perfect. This is how you correct. But some students, they did not notice all of this. They just simply said, oh, everything is mentally perfect. Sometimes, maybe less than 5% not correct. So you have to check sometimes. Especially a referee journal. Top journal, good journal, it will automatically detect. Okay. Done? Okay. Sometimes, this is, we call it as, okay, Parenthetical citation. Okay, this one is a parenthetical citation. But how to do a narrative citation? For example, Smith 2020. Am I right? How to do this one? Uh, you can do in this way. In this citation, go to Mendeley. I clear. Okay. Okay. I say. Oh my God. So who at all? So what you can do is you just boom like this. Just put like this and you're supposed to delete this one and you delete. Ah, it will ask Pop up box, you know, keep manual edit. Okay, done. So then you have to rewrite. Okay, stated that when, okay, when you apply styles, okay, like this. However, there is a problem. Before you set all of this, choose your styles first. Okay. Styles, very important. Okay. Okay. Now I go for the style. This is American Psychological 7th edition. If I change to I triple E, what happened? Boom. It's become 1 to 6. And your reference is going to be like this. If I don't want I triple E, I want. Okay. 
uh, APA 7th, like this. If I change to APA 6, it's going to be different. Boom. APA 6, longer, you know, you will get more pages. APA 7, you will get lower page. Okay, see, yeah? Boom. Ah. See? AP6 are yeah, very long, you know. Very long. When I change to AP7, short. Boom. Ah. So uh, you will save your pages. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure UEM uh, already imposed uh, or restricted AP7 or not. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I have one experience. I use AP7. There was one session. They said I made a mistake in APA. But actually, I did not make a mistake. The mistake is the person did not update the knowledge about the 7th edition. So you said everything mistake. How come you can put at all at the first time? I said it's supposed to be in APA 7. Okay? At all. But it's okay. That is an argument. But you're supposed to upgrade your knowledge to the APA 7. Uh, then you know the difference. Okay. Boom. Okay. So, whenever I update, everything included. Okay, the last function, special request from our friends. Uh, how come I can... Uh, okay, let me uh, pinpoint the questions. Since we have no time, it's already 11.58. Okay. Okay, pray for you, Mr. Ali. Okay. Uh, can we rely on Mendeley for citation or do we have to do a double check manually? Okay, you can rely on Mendeley, but when you upload your file, please check whether the information over here is correct or not. If not correct, you can update, no problem. And also you check your needs review button. If wrong, it will detect, detect here. Needs review button, okay? How do we collaborate, sir? How about this? How can I make collaboration? UEM restrict APA 7? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, please uh, don't make my statement as an authentic statement. I'm not sure about that, APA 7 or APA 6. But when I do my PhD, it's APA, 7, APA 6. Okay? Okay. But nothing wrong. APA 7, uh, you will get a shorter version of the thesis. APA 6, longer version, because your names will be longer, okay? Okay, how to connect? This is, actually, I'm done, okay? I have done, manage your references, read this one, or collaborate, last one, okay? How to collaborate? Very simple. What you can do is, you have to create a group. Name your group, okay? Name your group, okay? Okay, let's say uh, digital entrepreneurship. Grant, okay? I create a group. And I want to invite a person name is Infonash Consultancy. I have to invite that person, boom. Send invites. And I can put the article over here. Okay. So the person will receive an email like this. Okay. Sometimes it's not uh, immediately happen. Let me check. Okay. Okay, you see, your friend will get requests like this, boom. Mandy request, join this group. So this is how we can collaborate. I join the group. Okay. You see, yeah? uh, I log out this one. I go to InfoNash, okay?
okay so i have now i have an account of uh, this one info nash okay so i have to sync okay so i have to accept you see once you click you have to accept so there will be a group here you remember or not i invited info nash consultancy from my this account my account madhivanan at uam so when i put some article here he can see that for example if let's say i have uh, one article i can put here So in this one, I have this article, right? So if I go here, I think sometimes you have to refresh. Okay. So I have to sync also here. Sync is very important, eh? Connect to the internet. So now I'm syncing. Syncing means it's upload the files over there. Okay. Yes. Collaborators should have an account. For example, you have one account Mendeley. I have one account Mendeley. So I have to invite you by using your Mendeley account. It can be, you know, ali at gmail.com also. No problem. Okay. So now you see, I invited info Nash. The article that I upload here, Madi upload, but this guy can see that article. And he also can cite. So we can work concurrently for the article writing. Okay. Okay. I don't need to send email to him or her. Please refer to this article. No, I just put in my group. So. I can read this article, interaction quality, in my account, and also my collaborator, other side, can read article in his own uh, Mendeley desktop. Okay. So remember, sync is very important. Okay. And when you connect to the Mendeley.com, okay, you will have a library actually. Okay, you will have a, a library. Okay, this is your library. When you go to mendeley.com like this, you will see something like this. Ah, then you can go. Ah, in this mendeley.com, there are two functions. You can see library, but you cannot cite. If you want to cite, either you use Mendeley Reference Manager or Mendeley Desktop. But I highly recommend Mendeley Desktop. Okay, and you can search article here. Or even your name. Okay. Okay. Uh, but sometimes, uh, if you want to go for the name, uh, I can go. For example, this is my article. Okay. Uh, this is my article. My article. Uh, all my articles coming up. Mm -hmm. All of these are my articles. Okay. This article. This article. Okay. So this, uh, yeah, all of this my article. Okay, so I can view my article. Okay, okay. I think that's it. Even I have uh, count uh, all the question. But Dora, if I miss any question, please let me or okay. let alert. I think most yeah. of the question I have covered during the session. How can we collaborate with the authors whose Mendeley account we know not? Top authors from your area. Oh, this is a <laughs> mutual understanding. You should know his email. Then only you can collaborate. Okay. Do we need to talk, talk to them first in an email? Yes. You have to talk to them. 
then only they can collaborate with you. Otherwise, they are not going to collaborate with you. How to talk? Using LinkedIn. Uh, that is another training, not this training. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Uh Is it okay if if the student have you know um, have more question and then can can they just email to you or? Uh, I can provide my email in the chat box and also my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Okay. So because we, we we already, I think it's. 12 uh 10 oh no 12 7 right now so if you yeah we if you have any question related to this uh mendeley then you can text to uh dr Marty's, uh mobile phone and yeah thank you so much it's really fruitful discussion knowledge sharing it's all about uh technology right dr Marty? it's about technology rule us yeah, but I'm 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 an old school, so I I think I need you know a separate session to to understand all this kind of thing. Okay, uh, so thank you for the um, a good discussion, good sharing from Dr. Madivanan, and um, uh, I believe that we can share the QR code later, and if if we have any other question, uh, you can text to Dr. Mati or email to him. All right. Aniza, will you share the uh, QR code? Tak? Thank you again yes. for joining us for this session. And then um, we will, yeah, yeah, it's not uh, up the QR code. It's just, we'll share this QR code. Thank you, Dr. Mati. Okay, welcome. And thank you for the opportunities and a good right. session. Dr. Mati. Session. <laughs> okay. Thank yeah. you, Dr. Idora. Yes, yeah. Sama sama. Tak buka dua jam dah WhatsApp ni tak tahu apa-apa bulu masuk dah. Dr. Mati nanti boleh share tak uh, slide tadi? Ah Boleh, boleh. Set now. Ah. I put in uh, Dropbox. I hmm. and... Tak apa doktor. Nanti doktor uh, bagi dekat saya kita akan masukkan dalam website. Ah Boleh, boleh, boleh. Okay. Okay, thank you doktor. Alright. Bye. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Mati. Thank you, Dr. Idora, for the session. Terima kasih. Welcome. Sama-sama. Yeah, sama-sama.